Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dave in the Man Cave. Well today what I've actually got to do, I've got to try and make some bushings to go through the uh, back spindle or the back axle, whatever you want to call it, of my motorcycle to connect the trailer to. Now this is not the right size I'm going to be using, this is only 10 mil, uh, 10 millimeter, but I'm going to be using 13. Now what I've got to do to stop that jiggling around in the axle, and it needs to be solid, um with no movement whatsoever but also at the same time not to rattle or squeak or whatever so i've got to make myself some bushings so what i've got hold of i've got some of this off of uh, amazon just for the record this is not a sponsored video so i've got this uh, nylon rod now what i need to actually make now i've only done this just to show you for um, a bit of an example do you see that nut there it's got like a little a lip on it well that is something similar to what i've got to make out of one of these um so what what i need to make a bigger one for one side where the um the side of the sprocket and a smaller one the other side or it could be the other way around i'm not too sure to be quite honest uh, I'll just go and check the bike, but it makes no difference. I've still got to make two of those anyway. So I'm going to cut the cut this about an inch and a half to two inches, and the same with the uh, larger one. I'm going to cut that probably inch and a half to two inches. And I haven't actually got a lathe, so what I intend to do, and I hope this actually does turn out right, once I've cut it to the right length, I want to drill a hole through the centre of the piece I've cut off on both pieces and then I want to put a nut and bolt on it and then stick the small bit what I've cut off into me um, chuck of the drill where the bolt is and I'm gonna have this actually spinning and then I'll hold some sort of a, a sharp object or a chisel or even a file or whatever depends in I don't know how tough this is going to be when it starts spinning so it's a bit of try and error now I'm fairly sure I can do it um, by right I do need a, a miniature lathe one of them handy ones um, but to be quite honest I just can't afford one and I, I will have plenty of work for one if I did have one but um, I just haven't got the money at the moment to get one so hopefully when the channel builds up I'll be able to get a small little lathe and do that kind of content as well two pieces there so they'd be long enough and I've just got to clean them up and see how we get on right guys as you can see I'm in here now in the workshop and I've just cut them down as demonstrated on me uh, saw so now I've got to try and line this up and drill it all the way through the center so that should be fun shouldn't it <laughs> got to find the centre of this so some of you might laugh at the idea how I'm doing this but you know when you haven't got the, the, the right stuff the right equipment all you can do is uh, do your best so that's 32 mil on that one so really I want to set this Right, that should be about right. If I scrape it that side and then go over to that side and scrape it there. 
Yes, there's a little mark there. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do it from... Now, as you can see, I'm not near to the, the nearest there, but it's near enough. Now, do I need a centre punch? We don't know, but we're going to... It's going to mark... It's going to mark it for me anyway. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that actually. Yeah, so you should be Dave. Good lad. Yeah, proud of you. I've always said, a blind man would be glad to see it. I, I don't know, can you see that guys? I'm actually laying this square on the bottom and then tightening this up to it where I know it's the base of the drill is square okay now I'm going to bring this up to meet it because the drill will not be long enough so that's roughly there it's not going to be too accurate but it's going to be near enough I've got to leave this up out of the way. We've taken a bit of a chance, but we're just going to go with it and see how it works. Working so far. Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave, you're a diamond. Yeah, it's very fluffy. So now what I've got to do, because my drill bit's not long enough, I've got to raise the table again and hopefully we'll get somewhere slowly. Right guys, as you can see the hole goes through there, happy out. Might have to do it a little bit bigger, depending. Uh, I don't want to go too big on that hole, so I'm going to put a small. I might have to go a little bit bigger just to get a bolt for it, because what I want this to do, I want that to sit on a bolt, if that was a bolt, and I want that to spin round, and then I want to just. Obviously, I won't be making the noise, but sounds good when I do it. So that's what we've got to do, okay? <coughs> right, guys and girls. <coughs> now, since the last clip, what I've uh, been doing on the camera there, on the video, I've actually been here for hours. Yes, you heard that right, hours. And um, I've been having trouble holding everything together. So you can see that um, I've had a few little tries at it. So I've got four which as I say in the trade, cream crackered. So what I've done, I ended up getting some of this bar with a nut and bolt and actually pinching it solid. And then there's a good lump in the chuck, which to be quite honest, I should have actually done that from the word go, but in hindsight, I thought it would work. Um, so anyway, what I'm doing, when I spin that, it's spinning very nice and then I've got the chisel and I'm holding it very very gently onto it and it's taking a fraction off at a time. I'll just give you a bit of a, an idea. Now I'm doing it with the corner bit by bit. It looks as if it's dodgy but I'm, I'm keeping fairly clear so it's not too bad. But now I'm on camera showing you it might go tits up. Now as you can hear there, it was actually making a, a bit of a good old hum. That's because I was pressing, pressing too hard just to get it down. But if, if you can see the bottom there, 
that is nearly at the right measurement that's why I'm kind of taking that away in a bit chunks so when I do actually get very very close to it to get it level I'll be holding it dead square and also um, touching it very very lightly so it just about skims off I'll give you a quick demonstration very very little coming off there you can actually see it there very very little when I push it lightly Now this is the first time I've actually ever made anything like this on this drill. As you can tell this drill it's fairly fresh so um, all I've actually done it for is drilling and putting a wire brush in it and doing that kind of work. So this is the first time I've ever made anything like this. Um, I don't even know why I need a lane. Right guys and girls, I've made me bushing. I'll put it close up to the camera in a second for you. What I'm going to do is just with a bit of sandpaper or glass paper or Henry cloth or whatever you want to call it, we're just going to smooth it down and tidy it up. There guys, one bushing, hole through the centre there, nice little lip, and that is one side of the axle for the trailer to sit in, and I'm very happy with that, very happy indeed.